video. I am so tired. A habit I've been getting really good at in my time as a substitute teacher is getting up early enough so that I have time to just relax on the couch and drink my coffee before I have to start my day. Doing this instead of frantically eating my breakfast on the way out the door has been life-changing. So if getting up at five means that the rest of my day is gonna be calm, that is a habit that I'm gonna prioritize. I also know that if I'm gonna be teaching full-time next year, there is no way I could pull off filming this before school. So while I'm just subbing, I wanted to make it happen. So we're doing it today. It's official, the Mormon Pickles have their very own sports bar. Yeah, the Pickles public house opened yesterday on North Mississippi. If you hear noises in the background, that's because Andy has his 3D printer running. He bought one. He's been um, using it quite a lot, like every day. So I have the door shut, so hopefully it's not too loud. I have to get ready. It is actually crazy. The difference, what's up? It is pretty crazy the difference in your day when you're subbing versus actual like full-time teaching. First of all, the mental stimulation is definitely not the same if you're subbing versus like having your own classroom and like your own classes that you teach. In my job as a sub, I'm pretty much just focused on like making sure kids are like on task, you know, not disturbing each other and like completing their work for the day. And just like making sure everybody in the room is like generally safe. I don't as a sub do any grading or curriculum obviously so overall it is just less work there's no meetings i literally show up and i leave at the end of the day that's it but i have really been enjoying it and i'm really happy i've had the opportunity to sub just because like when i started my career i jumped right in out of college i had just turned 23 and like right out of college i went into teaching full-time which i obviously love doing and i'm like I want to get back there, but it's been cool to just like try something different. And it's also really interesting, like the difference in sub jobs because I have days that are super like easy. Like basically I'm just supervising the room and everybody, you know, there's no behavior issues. Everybody's on task. There's even been days where like I've brought like a book because I need something to do. But then there's been other days where I'm on my feet all day. The kids are really taking advantage of the fact that they have a sub and that their normal teachers gone so it's like really interesting how some days are like harder and some are easier or like not harder easier just like the like different kinds of work you know something that i have really missed though about um or about full-time teaching is that like when you're a full-time teacher with your own classes you obviously really get to know your students because you see them every single day for i don't know a semester or two and with subbing, I see the kids for that day and then I, I leave and I'm done. And like, we don't have the opportunity to like build a relationship at all. So I have really missed like the relationship aspect of teaching. It's just like one of those things when I do get back to the classroom with my own classes, that's like something that I won't take for granted and I'll be really happy to have that like aspect back in my career as a part of my new year's resolution for 2024 i have been using notion i did a whole video about it a few videos back it's um basically like an organization platform and i just have a list of tasks on there that i try to do every single day i have been using this 5 a.m wake up call time to kind of get like a head start on my notion task list and i'll try to do a few of those before i go to work every day so basically in that time when i'm like sitting on the couch drinking my coffee and watching the news i'll um start in on that list and that way when i get home from work there's less for me to do when i get back so typically before work i'll do my duolingo for the day i'll make my bed i'll take my vitamins i'll get a jump start on drinking my water for the day and I haven't done any of those things yet, so once I'm done getting ready here, I'll probably take care of some of those. If you're new to my YouTube channel and you weren't around when I was making van videos, I was actually a teacher for five years. I guess I should have said that like at the start of this. But um, I was a teacher for five years and then me and my husband left the area for two years and we traveled around in our van and visited all 50 states. So for the past two years, I have not been working. Andy didn't work the first like nine months in the van and then he got a remote job. Um, and then he just transitioned out of that like a couple months ago. So he had to actually resign from his job um, and then 
basically get rehired um, to be able to go back to it. I was super fortunate. I was able to take like what most people would call like a sabbatical. I took two years of leave. I'm technically like still employed for the same school district that I worked my entire career for. I didn't have to resign, but like I obviously don't have my position anymore. So I never like lost or gave up my employment technically, but I don't currently have like an actual job other than like picking up sub jobs. And it's not necessarily guaranteed that I will have a job next school year, which is very nerve wracking. So I don't currently know what next school year is gonna look like for me. And I probably won't know for a while yet, but um, I'm just trying to enjoy my time now subbing and just kind of like transitioning back into how my life was before we lived in a van because that was obviously like a big overhaul. In our life and no matter what next school year looks like for me whether i have to just continue to sub or if i get like a full-time position again i do definitely plan to go back to subbing someday like i plan to be that like retired teacher who just subs like on a regular basis like every school has at least one of those people who like retire and then sub on a regular basis and i feel like that would be a great way to like make a little bit extra money in your retirement and have something to do every day and like stay in touch with people and stay in touch with kind of like your old life. So I fully plan to do that someday, whether it's like soon or, you know, at the end of my career. So it's currently um, like just after 6 a.m. and I fully allow myself like a solid 45 to 60 minutes to just drink my coffee on the couch, like I already said. So I've done that. I'm about done getting ready. And once I'm done here, I will kind of like get organized, make my lunch for the day, kind of pick up a little bit, and probably it'll be about time to head out after that. Sorry, it's like, I'm like all over the place here. I feel like kind of rushed for time. I'm not really, but like, I just feel like I can't dilly-dally with getting ready here. So, oh, we went to Dancing with the Stars the other night. So the pros, if you know anything about Dancing with the Stars, it's a show for like, there's like these professional dancers and then they work one-on-one -on -one with a celebrity and um, it's a TV show. Every week, like a different star gets eliminated and it's like a whole thing. It's been around for a while. So you probably know what it is, but uh, in the off season, the pros do like a tour and they came to our town. So we went and saw them. It was pretty sweet, but the venue, um, the seating was like not great. It was um, kind of hard to see, honestly. So that was a bummer, but like that's kind of on us because we got the cheaper tickets till we were toward the back. So I hope they come again and I would probably splurge on more expensive seats so that we could sit closer to the front. But anyway, it's really cool. Okay, I'm done getting ready. I gotta keep moving. have like four outfits that are work appropriate right now. Everything I own clothes wise is like workout clothes or like loungewear, sweats, like that kind of stuff. Cause I got rid of all of my clothes when we moved into the van. Most of it was getting like tight or it was way out of style anyway. Actually the bulk of my closet before was stuff from mostly like college. So I'm kind of using this time um, as an opportunity to do like a closet reset. But since I've been prioritizing buying like furniture and all of the stuff for our new apartment, I haven't been able to um, actually like go clothes shopping yet. So basically I've worn like the same outfit every day that I have subbed. <laughs> this has been like my go-to fit most days. So I currently have like 15 minutes till I need to head out. And since I just have like a little chunk of time left, I'm gonna pick up a little bit so that way when I get home this afternoon there's like less stuff for me to take care of.
Okay, I need to pack my backpack for the day. Um, I normally just bring like my laptop, my Kindle, or like a hardcover book just in case. Depending on the job, like I kind of do need something to do to stay busy. So I bring like a book or my laptop so I have something to do just in case. Especially if I have a prep period as a sub, there is literally nothing to do during a prep period except scroll on my phone. And I would rather like read a book or something like that, so. Got my headphones too, just in case. All right, I have like 10 minutes till I need to be at work. So this is perfect timing. So that is my very simple, just morning getting ready to be a substitute teacher. I obviously can't film at school. So I am going to end the video here. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. See you next time, bye.